Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Today I found myself out taking some images for some textures and I took this picture of an old uh, abandoned army vehicle probably from the World War II or Vietnam era and I took it because I, I liked the old painted boards on it and in its current state it's fairly unusable because the boards are not uh, straight the camera is not straight um, to the surface that I uh, photograph and uh, today's tutorial I want to show how easy it is to take an image like this and just manipulate it a little bit in Photoshop and you'll actually end up with a, fair, a very usable texture when you're done and it takes only a couple minutes so let me back up here and we'll come back to my original image uh, first thing I want to do is I want to trim off the parts of this that I will not be using so I'm just gonna bring it down to about there bring it up to about there and just come in on the sides a little bit okay uh, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my boards are horizontal and the easiest way to do that is to come up here to view and click on rulers or you can just hit control R which will bring up your rulers now what you want to do is you want to bring down one of these lines and just bring down a couple reference lines that you can use to make sure that your image uh, your boards are straight so I'm gonna make a duplicate of this now and all I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of a rotation until my boards are straight click the check mark and let's look at this actually that's not bad okay now that my boards are straight that's pretty good let me uh, delete these guides uh, the only way to get rid of the metal now the metal border is to use the cropping tool but that will crop out a lot of the uh, wood that I want to actually try to preserve so if I use the crop tool and crop out the metal to there well, I'm, I'm losing this, this area here, and I want to try to preserve that. So, I'm running CS4. I'm going to hit Control-T, right-click, and choose my Warp Tool. What I want to do is just stretch this out a little bit. Till the, till the metal trim here is, is uh, vertical and this looks pretty good here this area here could come down a little bit and I think maybe in the middle as well and the top looks good okay click the check mark and now if I use my cropping tool I can crop out that metal losing very very little of the wood on the side there and I can crop it out let me zoom in here I can crop out the metal here. Oh, I'll probably need to come in a little bit more. But I'm able to preserve a whole lot more of my wood texture than I was before what I, than I would have before had I not used the uh the warp tool. Okay, so <clears throat> now we have a very usable texture here that really came from a very unusable uh image and if you zoom in you can get fairly close and still enjoy the the detail in the image and I'm only working with a six megapixel camera that's not very big it's certainly not very uh, fancy so um, I just imagine what you can get if you used a, uh, a higher um, pixel 
uh, camera other something other than a uh, than a six megapixel mine's very basic and uh, as basic as it is I can still get some nice crisp textures even though I have uh, deleted a lot of the image so I uh, hope this tutorial has been useful to, for you and hope you can uh, use it so thanks for watching here at Geek Play Studios my name is Gary Miller have a good day